let's go ahead and get started. First, I'd like to welcome everyone to today's webinar. I'm Scott Mazon, the Marketing Manager for the HEH Group, and today I'm joined by Willie Eichley, the President of the HEH Group and Mach and Eichley, and Chris Miller, the General Manager and VP of Crotz & Saunders. During this webinar, we're going to be discussing the recent partnership between Mazak and the HEH Group, who exactly is the HEH Group, the creation of the HEH technical team, an introduction into Mazak's impressive lineup of machining solutions. Then we'll wrap things up with a Q&A session, where we'll have Mike Zilich join us for application questions. For the Q&A, please use the chat feature in Teams to submit your questions to the panel. If we don't have enough time to get through all of them, we'll follow up with everyone in an email. Well, to kick things off, I'm now going to turn it over to Willie Eichley. Thank you, Scott. I appreciate that. Again, my name is uh, Willie Eichley. I'm the president of the HEH Group, and I'm joined today with Chris Miller, our vice president and general manager, as well as Mike Zilich, our senior application engineer for the Mazak product line. I'm going to start off by basically giving you a overview of some key topics, and then I'm going to hand things off to Chris to get into some more details around what's new at Mazak, and then we'll open it up to some Q&A. But first and foremost, I want to thank everybody for being here, let you know we really appreciate your participation, and we hope it's value added. I'm going to be discussing several topics with the objective of familiarizing yourself with our group and our group's capabilities. I've got it broken down in four sections. I'm going to start with who is the HEH group, go into our new MAZAC partnership, talk about the capabilities of our HEH technical team before handing it off to Chris and then having the Q&A. Okay, let's start with who is the HEH group? What does HEH stand for is normally the first curiosity question that we get, and I'm here to tell you we are not that creative. HEH stands for Haggerty, Eichley, Haggerty. The last name of the three owners, Bob Haggerty, our CEO, myself, Willie Eichley, and Jim Haggerty, our vice president. Under the HEH group, we have four distinct business units, Crotz and Saunders, Mach and Eichley, Ultratech Machinery, and Advanced Spindle Technology, otherwise known as AST. Now the short story of how we got where we are today is Mach and Eichley is a machine tool distributorship that was founded by my father in 1985, based in Cleveland, Ohio. In 1986, my partner's father started Ultratech Machinery. Now, we basically joined forces in February of 2009, in essence, creating the HEH Group. If we move a few years down the road in 2013, the HEH Group purchased Crotz and Saunders, located in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, which began their journey in business way back in 1956. Then in 2017, we stood up the new company, Advanced Spindle Technology, AST, located in Winston. Now, each of the company's capabilities, in short, as we are today, is on the Ultratech side, we have four areas of our business. We design and build custom machines. We do machinery rebuilds and repairs. We're an automation integrator and a complex turnkey supplier. Basically, think of Ultratech as the horsepower on the engineering and automation side of our group. Mach and Eichley and Kratz and Saunders are distributors solely focused on machine tools, metrology, and automation from a sales and service side. AST, our Advanced Spindle Technology Group, is a spindle repair facility located in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, and now more recently opened up the facility in Cuyahoga Falls as well. So we refer to that as AST South and AST North. So in total, in the HEH group, we have approximately 100 people as we sit today. Okay, now that you know a little bit more about the HEH group and our roots, let's talk about our new relationship with Mazak. So I'm, I'm guessing most, if not all of you know, that as of 6-1, Mach and Eichley is the distributor for Mazak in Northern Ohio, and Kratz and Saunders is the distributorship for Mazak in North Carolina, South Carolina, Virginia, and a portion of West Virginia. 
Now, what Mazak was looking for in a new distributor really aligned perfectly with what our capabilities and our vision is as the HEH group. And, and, and they had five distinct areas that, that they wanted to make sure their new partner checked the box with. The first one was a company that had a vision for growth and a solid business plan. I think you could probably tell by the short history I just gave you, even since 2009 when the HEH group really was formed, you know, we spent a lot of time trying to find new ways to add value to you, the customer, so that you can make more money and operate your businesses more smoothly. The second thing was a company that was active in the market and business intelligence space. We, uh, we are very active in that space. We're, we're members of AMT, the Association for Manufacturing Technology, and we put a lot of time and effort into dissecting and evaluating businesses and the territory so that we have the right people calling on the right type of accounts, bringing the right type of technology based on what, what you're producing as, as the end user. So we do take that uh, very serious and have for many years. The third item was to have an active marketing plan and a strategy. We absolutely have an emphasis on marketing. It hasn't always been that way. It was something we outsourced as needed. But about three and a half, four years ago, we brought marketing in-house. And I, I hope you're following us on LinkedIn, taking a look at our website and seeing the things we're doing. But we're constantly developing content that is useful to you, the end user, again, trying to bring more value. The fourth item is a company that was established on the service side, and, and we take service as serious as we take sales, if not even more. We know sales sells the first machine, and the service and the support you get long term convinces you to continue to buy those machines. So we, we know the importance of the service. We've been working hard at that for a long time, and Mazak really liked what they saw in our organization. And lastly, it was a company that had an application staff, really that also had integration capabilities, not just somebody that can do time studies, but somebody that can marry an industrial or collaborative robot to a, to a machine tool or, or tie in metrology to a machine tool or just do process assistance or some level of, of turnkey. That is something we've done for a lot of years, so bringing that to the table was a, was a big positive as well. So again, I, I think those five areas that Mazak was looking for, we fit the bill. We can always, uh, we can all always be better. And uh, we're focused on that. This is a big deal for, for our organization. We've been looking for a world-class brand like Mazak that we can represent in both of our territories. We've had different product lines, some similar, but mostly different between our two distribution groups. And you can imagine the synergies of having your lead brand being the same across both groups when it comes to support and, and technical assistance. So we are extremely excited about the future with Mazak. We, we see them as a, as a world-class brand with cutting edge technology from, from A to Z. And that really understands what it takes to be successful. So we are, we are very excited and pleased about the opportunity to represent Mazak. I'd like to provide a little bit more information around the, the facilities that we have on the distribution end of the HEH group. And starting with Mach and Eichley, we are located in Cuyahoga Falls, as I've previously mentioned. That is south of Cleveland, north of Akron and Canton. We've got about a 12,000 square foot showroom there with a state-of-the-art training facility. We, we house our applications department at that facility that's always ready to support demos and our salesmen's efforts and customers' needs. We also have a, a metrology lab on site. As I mentioned, we, we also sell metrology equipment. So we have machines set up there to do demos and process development for customers. And I didn't mention it earlier. Obviously, Mazak is what we're here to talk about and is our, is our main product. But uh, the other things that we sell that you'd see in our showroom are collaborative robots, primarily FANUC CRX units, but all sizes. We have our own portable base and stand. We do a lot of cobot work for machine tending. We're at, we are the Hydromat distributor. If you're not familiar with them, they're a high volume, small part. I mean, millions of pieces, small parts that fit in the palm of your hand. We've been with them for 30-some years. Ohio has been a very good market for us there. And we also sell Takamas. 
Lens and Fuji on the machine tool side. And on the metrology end, we represent Ames, if you're familiar with the metrology space, for our CMMs and then the OGP product for for vision systems and shaft checking machines and scanners. So um, that's a little bit more about uh, the Mach and Eichley facility. The Kratz and Saunders facility, as I mentioned earlier as well, is located in Winston-Salem, just east of the downtown area. There we have a 25,000 square foot uh, showroom and uh, with a real state-of-the-art training facility. Also have an applications department on site in Winston, again, ready to support the sales efforts and, and, and you as customers' needs. We have two metrology labs fully equipped in the Winston facility where we're, we're constantly doing demos and process development as well as contract inspection worth noting. If you have parts that you need to get inspected we likely have the capabilities and the equipment in-house to do that so keep that in mind. As far as products represented on the Kratz and Saunders side, of course Mazak is our lead product. We're also doing a lot of collaborative robots and again represent Hydromat, Takamas, Fuji, and in this case, Mitsubishi, the world leader in EDM, sinker, and wire technology. As well as some, some specialty equipment on, on the grinding end and, and, and some other niche areas. And on the metrology side, the same products, Ames and, and OGP. And the QC Calc on the software end and, and some other metrology technologies. But both facilities have trained staff for processing Mazak part orders. I want to make sure I make that a point. We've already been through the training. There is no cost difference for you to order your parts from us and let us manage the process for you. So I think that's the key. You can call the main Kratz and Saunders number or the Mach and Eichley number, and, and we will take care of your part orders. And again, no cost difference, just more value add with trained people that can chase things down for you so you don't have to. So that is a little bit more about the facilities I wanted to share. So the last item that I'm going to cover, and I mentioned it when we when we started, is who is the HEH technical team? So this is something that we've done basically as a result of our relationship with Mazak, and probably going to be one of the more important things for everybody on this call to, to understand. So really, what is the HEH technical team? It's things that we've been doing as far as services for a long time, but we're, we're really refocus those to to be all towards Mazak under one name, the HEH technical team. So what is the technical team? It, it's a group of trained machine, automation, and metrology apps engineers and service techs that are all focused and trained by Mazak the factory and available to, to assist you as the customer. Now, the, the Mazak service commitment, that's a big deal. I mentioned that as one of the areas that Mazak was looking for in a new dealer. And again, we stepped up to the plate there in terms of what we already had and what we've committed to do moving forward. So just to bring you up to, to speed, I mean, we, we understand that the Mazak service locally has been overtaxed and therefore probably not as responsive as, as you, the customer, would have liked. They've been extremely busy, not as an excuse, and understaffed. We currently have four Mazak trained technicians located within the Kratz and Saunders territory, not all just in Winston, throughout the Carolinas and the Virginias. And then we have eight already on the in the M&E territory in northern Ohio. So our plan and our commitment is to have 10 service techs at CNS throughout the territory dedicated to Mazak and 10 on the M&E side, hopefully before year end. But it will probably take two or three more months to get the rest of the guys on board and trained. But those four that I mentioned for Kratz and the eight for Mach have already been through the training at Mazak and have their certification and are ready to, to service customers. So we're, we're excited about that, and I hope you see that as a, a commitment and a value to, to you as well. At the moment, procedurally, it's important to know, your service will continue to be scheduled by Mazak. 
So you would call Mazak, and they would then be dispatching our local technicians. So again, just procedurally, you need to call Mazak for the service, but you will start to see our guys come in locally, which means their travel will be shorter meaning less expensive, and and they'll be trained, and you'll likely see the same people servicing your machines over and over, which is always a benefit for everybody. If you're in need of help in scheduling your service with Mazak for some reason, we just don't want you to be struggling. We do have a dedicated administrative scheduler that can, can assist. Okay, her name is Nikki, and and the number she can be reached at is is 800-833-9729. If you're struggling, if you need help, if you're not satisfied with what's happening or what you're told, feel free to call us at that 800 number. Again, 800-833-9729, and we will run the interference for you and make sure you're you're getting what you need. Okay, so I guess at this point, I am finished with my topics. I'm going to hand this over to Chris Miller, and he is going to give you a quick overview of some new things and the latest and greatest with, with Mazak. Thank you very much. Thanks, Willie. Again, my name is Chris Miller, and I'm the VP and General Manager for Crotts and Saunders. I've been with our company since 2006, transitioning to my current role almost 10 years ago. I work closely with our entire distribution network to help them in their sales and support efforts for the Mazak products to both existing and hopefully new customers down the road. It's an incredibly exciting time for the distribution channels of the HEH group, and I wanted to spend a few minutes going through some additional information regarding Mazak as a company, a few of their specific product lines, as well as introduce you to our sales team at Crotts and Saunders and Mach and Eichley. So for a quick review of the Mazak facilities that support us in our sales efforts and service efforts in the territory, the HEH group is supported locally by Mazak Technology Centers located in our regions. In the Mach and Eichley territory, we are supported by the National Technology Center, which is located at Mazak's headquarters in Florence, Kentucky. This world-class facility consists of training facilities for applications, control, and service personnel, as well as an expansive space for machine learning, demonstrations, and test cuts. In the Crotts and Saunders territory, we are supported by the Southeast Technology Center located just north of Atlanta, Georgia. It's really incredible to think about the scope of Mazak as a machine tool builder, especially when you realize that they have approximately 4 million square feet of production floor space worldwide. Now, while five of those facilities are located in Japan, Mazak has shown their dedication to American manufacturing by also producing their machines here in the United States. We're extremely lucky to have their iSmart factory located in Florence, Kentucky, manufacturing core Mazak products each and every day. Our team would invite customers to come tour the facility to see Mazaks being built on Mazaks. What I mean by that is as you walk through the production floor, you'll see machines being built from the ground up. You'll find castings being hand scraped, turret blocks being machined, sheet metal being cut and formed to size. Additionally, you'll also see spindles being manufactured, built and tested. No machine leaves the Kentucky facility without being checked over one final time. Also located on the Mazak campus are three additional buildings, the National Technology Center, the North American Parts Center, and the manufacturing facility of Mazak's newest lineup of machines, the Syncrex lineup of Swiss-style turning centers. The North American Parts Center is a marvel in and of itself with over $90 million in dedicated replacement parts and units. The facility like this allows Mazak to guarantee parts support for the life of a CNC no matter how old it is. The parts center is open six days a week, 8 a.m. to 7 p.m., with after-hour services available as needed. Needless to say, keeping our customers up and running, not waiting on parts, is our goal each and every day. The National Technology Center is the U.S. headquarters for Mazak Applications, Service, and Training. We host events through the calendar year with some of the brightest minds in our industry and invite prospects and existing customers to come and learn with us. If seeing any or all of this campus is something of interest, Please let myself or your local territory manager know, and we would love to set up a visit for you to see the facility. I don't want to bore anyone with too much detail and specs on individual products, but I did want to spend a little bit of time on some of Mazak's series of machines. With over 400 models across many different machining technologies, we won't go through all of that today, don't worry, but I wanted to give you a 10,000 foot view of what might be of interest to some of you. 
The Advantech products are those products that we bring to market with the goal of expanding into prospects who previously did not consider or think they could afford a Mazak, or perhaps was a customer that we did not previously have a machine that was a good fit. Some quick facts about these machines would be that they are Kentucky-built machines, as well as some that come from factories in Japan. They include series such as the Bulletproof Quick Turn or QT series of lathes. These are the machines that most of you would think of when you think of Mazak. You'll likely know someone who has one of these that's 20 plus years old, still holding size and still turning out great parts. These lathes will come in all variations from two axis up to lathes with live tooling, Y axis, and second spindles in lieu of the tailstock. Another series would be the Rugged and Reliable VCN series of C-frame verticals. Much like the QT series of lathes, these things are tanks. 30 horsepower spindles with varying speed and torque options, both in 40 taper and 50 taper options for spindles. Up to 60 tools on the Cat 40 machines is a nice perk as well. The traveling column verticals are known as the VTC, Vertical Traveling Column series of machines. We offer these in both Cat 40 and Cat 50 as well, and these things are rangy and flexible. An option that most customers pursue on these machines is a removable center partition or divider. This allows an operator to load or unload one side of the table while the other side is machining. The VC series of verticals, which offer both 5-axis single pallet configurations or dual pallet 3-axis machines. <clears throat> Think of a vertical machining center that instead of putting a third party pallet changer on it, you can have that configuration complete from the builder in one single solution. Lastly, but certainly not least, is the EZ series of lathes and vertical machining centers. All EZ series machines run off the latest and greatest smooth EZ control. The QT EZ series of lathes offer chuck sizes from 6 to 12 inches with 20 inch bed lengths. Configurations also include two axis all the way up to the MSY configuration, M standing for milling, S for second spindle, and Y for Y axis on the turret. So this full line gives you six, eight, 10, and 12 inch chucks, anything from two axis all the way up to a full mill turn. We're targeting these machines for prospective customers or existing customers who never thought that they could get into a Mazak. The Easy Series machines carry the standard two year bumper to bumper warranty just like any Mazak and the same parts and service coverage as previously discussed. The VC Easy series are 40 taper single table C frame verticals. We currently offer these in three different sizes the VC Easy 16, 20, and 26. Those are corresponding Y axis numbers, just to give you an idea. And just around the corner will be the VC Easy 32, the biggest of the bunch. That machine will be 64 inches in X axis by 32 inches in Y axis and 30 inch in Z axis. Another new development that prospects and existing customers may be excited to hear about is the ability to now spec out, build, and get a quote on the Easy series of machines, all from the comfort of your home or office. We realize that not everyone has time to sit down with a sales professional and go through the details on machines and options, or sometimes you are just looking for a quick summary on a machine and want to do that solo. We completely understand. I can't think of the last time I went to a car lot without having spent time building and pricing out the car or truck I wanted. So Mazak is introducing the Machine Builder Tool Module. Anybody can have access to this quote building module once they register. If this is of interest to you, you can request access from the website easyseries.mazakusa.com. Done in one. That is the philosophy and mentality when we look at applications with the CyberTech products. These machines are all built in Japan and consist of series that you may have heard of, such as Integrex, Multiplex, Hyperquadrex, Variaxis, just to name a few. Our goal with any of these machines is to help eliminate some of the hidden costs a customer may deal with, like work holding complexity and costs, whip or work in progress, think of parts on a pallet in queue waiting to be loaded into the next machine for the next operation. Those are valuable dollars and space being taken up with incomplete parts that you can't ship or realize the revenue from exorbitant tooling costs for live tool holders and turning centers, lack of labor and machines sitting idle because no one can run the sequence of machines needed to complete the multiple operations in a part. We are proud to be known as the first builder to step into true mill turn technology by combining our milling 
centers and our turning centers to create the Integrex machines. It's hard to believe, but we've been manufacturing Integrex machines for almost 40 years. Many can try and copy or emulate, but no one offers the flexibility and configuration or proven track record of the Mazak Integrex. Possibilities are seemingly endless with these machines. The Variaxis are full 5-axis Trunnion-style VMCs, and they come in either a single table or two pallet changer configuration. These can also be combined into a Palatech system, which is our linear pallet changing system that is completely modular. Speaking of Palatechs, I have a son who loves to build Legos. I liken a Palatech system to a bucket of Legos, common pieces and components that can be put together and adjusted to fit your manufacturing needs based on the type and number of machines, number of pallets, single or dual levels to help with your floor space, number of operators load and unload stations. Companies who want to see their spindle utilization up above 90% instead of the typical 65% that you would see from a traditional horizontal two pallet system should really investigate our Palatech or MPP automation options. Lastly, that brings me to the horizontal machining centers from Mazak, the HCN series. Traditional pallet sizes from 400 millimeters and up to some very large quill style machines as well. The HCNs are highly customizable for all of your needs. Tooling up to 160 tools in a chain, or you can step up to a Mazak tool hive with over 400 plus tools available to you. The newest addition to the Mazak product offering is the Syncrex series of Swiss style lathes. The initial offering of these machines will be for four different bar stock sizes, ranging from 20 millimeters to 25 to 32 millimeters, and finally 38 millimeters as the largest bar stock offered currently. The 32 and 38 millimeter machines will also have a removable guide bushing as well. The machines can be configured as either seven, eight, or nine axes machines, as well as a nine axes machine with a full B axis for total flexibility. The Smooth ST Control will utilize EIA G-Code programming. We're hoping that you'll take a hard look at these new machines and give us a chance to explain some of our differences, such as the composite casting, the dynamic chip control, and setup assist features that are Mazak specific benefits. For customers who are already part of the Mazak family and lathe customers, we look forward to having our product specialists help show you that these Swiss machines may be a better alternative for some of your small parts manufacturing needs. For parts under an inch and a half diameter, we have some compelling data that may open your eyes to the capability and flexibility of a Mazak Syncrex, and we look forward to those conversations. It's worth noting that these machines will be available starting later this year, and we'll have multiple models on display at IMTS in Chicago in September. We look forward to showing you them in action at McCormick Place. Speaking of IMTS, we're extremely excited this year to be partnered with Mazak and to be able to spend some time in that great big booth in the front of the South Hall. I wanted to highlight some key details about the upcoming show in Chicago. We do have a new booth layout this year, broken up into five different categories for like type machines. We'll actually have 18 machines on display under power and cutting parts. Those sections are broken down into Easy Job Shop, which will show the QT Easy lathes with Cobot automation and the VC Easy mills, both three and five axis machining. Real World Solutions, featuring the Hyper Quadrex and Quick Turn lathes with live tooling, second spindle and Y axis capability, as well as the Twin Pallet VC 500 and a VC Easy 20, also with Cobot automation. Third is the multitasking machines, which will be highlighting three variations of our popular Integrex series. Fourth is advanced machining, where we'll be exhibiting multiple HCN horizontal machining centers and five axis machines in both the very axis platform and VC 500 with additive machining capability. And lastly is the high production area, unveiling the new Syncrex series of Swiss style lathes We'll have three models to show customers different configurations of this exciting new line. We look forward to seeing you there. As I mentioned previously, I am responsible for helping support our fantastic team of territory managers, both in the Kratz and Saunders and Machinikely territories. Some of you likely already know your territory manager, but for some, this will be a new beginning. It's exciting to think of bringing the latest technology to our existing customer base and also learning about new potential partners, their needs, and how we can hopefully assist. For a quick rundown of the territory, I wanted to pull up a map so you can see what region you fall into. <clears throat> For the Karatsen Saunders territory, we have the territory broken down as you see here. 
Luke Kohler covers Eastern North Carolina, Bobby Miller covers Western North Carolina and part of Southwest Virginia, Brian Godby covers South Carolina, and Daryl Taylor covers the majority of Virginia and parts of West Virginia. You may also hear from Mr. Jamie Husa, who's a, in a business development specialist role with us. He works with our territory managers in the entire region, assisting with their efforts in developing new accounts. For the Mach and Ikeley territory, we have the territory divided into four quadrants. Dion Marino handles the northeast section of the territory. John Pauline covers the southeast. Reese Edwards takes care of the southwest territory. And Kurt Cooper is out in the west portion of the territory. We all look forward to catching up with you or meeting you for the first time soon, and we'll do our best to help in any way that we can. On behalf of the entire HEH group and Mazak, thanks for taking the time to learn more about who we are as a company, our partnership with a world-class builder in Mazak, and our commitment to you, the customer, to help however we can. Whether you have a shop full of machines or are working a side gig and starting out from scratch, we want to be a part of your journey and help you realize your potential and dreams. We look forward to speaking with you soon. Together, success. Now I'm going to throw it back to Willie for some closing remarks. Thank you, Chris. Appreciate that. And again, I just want to say thank you for, for joining us today. We really appreciate it. We're excited about this new venture with Mazak and uh, our sales territory managers will be out and about introducing themselves to you if they haven't already. Please reach out to us if there's anything that you need or anything we can help with. And uh, we look forward to meeting you. So uh, at this point, I'm going to hand it over to the Q&A, and we look forward to answering your questions. Thanks again for joining.